on his quarter panel. Whoa, but a little bit loose on the bottom. Look at Briscoe sideways. Briscoe racing it down through the corner, and there's a little contact as 799 of Cindric is going to do it. Michael Self will go by. Four or five cars going to go in, and there's his teammate. The number 22 is sideways, and it looks like Snyder's going to spin. Boy, Majeski does an amazing job getting by. Ash does. Oh! oh. Gus Dean made it through there, but it looks like the 10 and the 6 made contact, and that puts Weatherman hard in to that number 22 of Myatt Snyder. A lot of damage for Kyle Weatherman. Man, that's a couple hard hits right there. We can see Myatt moving around in that car. You see him taking the steering wheel off and his gloves. There he is. Heavy damage to the left front of that Louisiana hot sauce race car. Here's the 99 of Cindric on pit road. They're checking that thing over and we've got our eye on Kyle Weatherman. Looks like his window net has come down as he is in a pile there with the number 14 of Morgan Baird. And the red flag is now out. The ARC officials are gonna stop this field as it's gonna take a little bit to get a clean up here as Kyle Weatherman's car heavy, heavy damage as he made contact with Myatt Snyder. It really all started back in turns one and two when Dalton Sargent was really down on the quarter panel of Chase Briscoe, got him really loose, lost all his momentum, lost several positions as we see the 0-8 of Nick Higdon. And uh, when they got down to turn three, it looked like it may have been some debris on his tires or something, Chris. It just looked like he didn't really have a handle on his car. Yeah, it really just snowballed all the way from, from the exit of turn two. And, and by the time we got to turn three, we were three wide, and, and there just wasn't room for it. And, you know, when you lose the air on the side of the car, there's just nothing you can do. And the 22 tried really hard to stay off his teammate and, and pretty much had it saved. But the problem is when... You know, everybody else is trying to get checked up. There's just not enough time to, to wall them back down. And it looked like those front two cars stalled out so much that everybody still had momentum from the restart, and they got in there, and they were four or five wide. Yeah, not only does it does it take the air off the side of the car when you really tuck down on somebody, but it puts a tremendous amount of drag on both of you, and it slows you both way down. Kyle Weatherman limping out of his Crosley number 10. There's Myatt Snyder being able to get out of his car number 22. He is going to walk away on his own power looks like he's okay that's really great news because both of these guys had a very hard lick yeah such a shame and I'm really good friends with Kyle Weatherman and actually roommate with them for uh, for a little little period of time and you know they they just had to come back down pit road and topped it off and we're probably gonna be in a good stretch to be able to go to the end and unfortunately when when you find yourself back there in that position you know you, you find yourself in, in some trouble in, in a lot of situations and, and they just weren't able to avoid it this time Myatt Snyder started out his season about the best way you can. Gets his win in his very first career start up at Toledo. Was knocking out top five finishes, and then all of a sudden the bad luck sort of turned around. They had some mechanical issues and three or four races in a row, just not much luck. See, there's Albert coming off of turn number two. See the 77 really loose. Makes a little bit of contact with his teammate, the 99 of Cindric, but he's lost all his momentum. See Myatt Snyder, now they're four wide as they enter the corner. Chase comes down a little bit. They make a little bit of contact. I loosens thought, up the 22 of Snyder. Boy, I thought he was going to be able to save it on that very first time, but then the car just got away. And as he goes up the racetrack, it appeared that Josh Williams must have made some contact with, oh, somebody. That looked might like have been, Brett Holmes. Yeah, Brett Holmes. The 23 car and the 10 of Weatherman got together. And it just takes that little bit of contact to be loose. And man, was there heavy contact. Here it goes again, guys. See him get loose there on the inside of the 55. And when it happens, he, it just bottles up the whole field behind him. And, you know, you, you see the 32 has to lift so much. And when you go four wide in the corner, and I don't think the 77 even knew that they were going to be in that position. He's looking to his outside right now. Yeah, I don't think he realized that they, they were double file underneath him. Came down a little bit, got into Myatt. Some guys really did a nice job getting him. Watch Majeski in that 17. He's going to turn hard right, completely miss Snyder. You see Mason Mitchell, the 98, Shane Lee going by on the inside. Gustine. Gustine all the way to the outside wall, into the outside wall to avoid running into the 22. Austin Cindric missing Myatt, but there's the contact right there. Hard, hard hit for Kyle Weatherman. So Brett Holmes, there's Josh Williams. He comes rolling through on that initial shot going so fast. I thought he was right behind Weatherman, but he was able to miss that completely. But boy, heavy damage in every corner for car number 10. We're certainly thinking about Kyle Weatherman as he limped away from his race car to go to the ambulance. Here it 
is it real time. It's amazing the speeds these cars get here. Majeski gets by, Gustine gets by, and hard, hard contact for Kyle Weatherman. Morgan Baird slides in there along with Nick Hignan, and all those guys get a little bit of damage from the aftermath of this crash between car 10 and 22. Looks like maybe Kyle Weatherman came down to the apron and then he saw the 34 of Mike Basham and had to avoid him. And when he did, that put him up into, into Myatt Snyder. And there you see the damage to Brad Holmes, Southern States Bank, Chevrolet, the right front, and the engine smoking a bit. A bunch of cars are damaged here, and we're under the red flag at Kansas Speedway. Back with more after.